Are you in South Africa? Did I read that correctly? So I'm actually in Mozambique now, and oh, I've just moved better. to I moved to Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm like in paradise over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you went, you're I'm just on vacation. Well, partially, it's a baby vacation slash work trip. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm uh, enjoying a little of both. Yeah, yeah. Well, good for you. Okay, so let's jump in on the Thank movie. I, I just finished watching let's it, do it. And, and really enjoy. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So, I mean, I gather since you're, you're with uh, your babies in uh, in Mozambique that you're probably not single. And this might I be- I am not. <laughs> Mom's now my gypsy and um, allowed me to find love apparently after this movie. It worked. This film worked. <laughs> so, so how was it revisiting some, I mean, you maybe had some of these experiences in an earlier life um, as a single person. Uh, what What was it like, you know, revisiting some of these experiences that that you know single people have to go through in this movie yeah uh, it was so fun um to be able to relive it and talk about it and laugh about them and not take it so seriously because when you're in it it's obviously more serious but when you're out of it it's all laughable um so it was just so great and tom was so amazing to work with and just the whole cast the crew everybody was just such team players and just we had we had so much fun every day. I mean, honestly, I was like, wow, I should probably do more movies that are like this, that are less serious. And this was like playing all day instead of going to work. Yeah, now Tom um, wears many hats and is a love interest yeah. for you in the, in the film. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, what he brought to set every day and, you know, what, what you learned from him. Yeah, you know, yeah, hats off to him. He he had three jobs that were all big jobs to to fill during this film. And um, I think he nailed it. You know, I when I read the script, I, I loved it and I immediately said yes to my agents. I I was just like, oh wow, you know what? This is this is right up my alley right now. This is my life right now. Um, I had finally gotten the dating apps just during the pandemic. I finally caved. And I got I got the apps and they only lasted about, I don't know, maybe four months at the most. None of the dates from the apps went well. Most of them lied to me about certain things, including their age and all sorts of weird, just weird ways of sharing things and finding out. And it's just like, this is, this is nuts that this is how we're meeting people today. But I went with it and uh, read the script and I was like, yes, get me to New York like tomorrow. Let's do this. This is so fun. And uh, yeah, I think, you know, he did a killer job directing and was just so fun with giving notes and comedy is, is new for me. So I felt so comfortable and confident and he, you know, kicked ass dancing and teaching me how to do it all. I had never done West Coast Swing. So it was just uh, new for me and challenging and amazing. So he, <laughs> you taught him to dance. <laughs> Well, <laughs> so I mean, if we were to have a hip hop battle, maybe I'd win. But uh, when it comes to West Coast Swing, he takes it. He takes the cake. Does yeah. he have dance training? Um. So yes, he does have crazy dance training. He's been dancing forever, and um, yeah, he. I mean, this is his thing, West Coast Swing. So it was so cool to work with him. And again, this type of dance is so much about connection and. Um, following, you know, as the woman in, in the pieces that we did, it was me following them leading, and it was just really, really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really cool for me. Is there a scene for you that resonated the most that you you thought got it the best? I love the I love the park bench, uh, the the bench scene at the end when when we meet. It's like that moment when when you see somebody and and you know time stops and slows down for a minute and nothing else really matters and everything kind of just dissipates. And um I love that. And and same with the the end dance sequence actually for me that was a really special scene and we had worked on it for the whole shoot. So it was actually the last scene of the film and um we filmed it in that order. And which never happens. Um, so it was just a uh, special and kind of like a closing and we had become really good friends. So it was just a really cool way to go out. And um, I think you can see in the movie that we felt it, you know. Uh, and then of course, you know, the ridiculous dating scenes were just so fun because that is the reality that most of us, I think, have been experiencing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, and I noticed that Joyce DeWitt is in the film, who I love, I you know, uh, grew up watching. Um, how, what was she like to work with? Same. On the film? 
She's a firecracker. Yeah. She's a firecracker and she's just herself and she's bold and she's just a beautiful woman and she's so fun. Um, I actually need to email her back. Uh, she wrote today and she is just probably one of those people that I feel lucky to have ever gotten to work with. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.